Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon. Next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Must be Hopkins. Uh, uh huh. What? Uh huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. 
Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am, at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Machiavelli's prince is overrated, she says. I should write you up for dressing like that. Sometimes I have trouble telling what is real and what is not. Yeah, okay. Looks like Bye, I hope the police got my application. You ain't worth a freaking dime. Do your best, you new too. Hello? What's your problem? Guess what time it is? Yep, time for a beatdown. Get the new kid. Beat him down. <laughs> Young man, go change immediately. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? <laughs> We don't have a bar in the door. Just a soda machine. Hey, check this out. Leave me alone. Get lost, pal. Why do you guys keep picking on me? You should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. like it's just not worth it, you know? I wish I could help you somehow. No, you know what? I've never been on a date. She has nothing. I'm not one of these guys who can't fight. I had a car. You think I'm joking? Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. 
Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life, my parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey. Haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you! Leave me alone, Gary! I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Ooh, I really gotta go, but what if there's someone in there who oh, oh, well. me. They say that kids imitate characters in video games, but I have yet to become a mustached plumber. I oh, thought we were friends. So scary. What would you call a yard thick in the metric? I wonder, did the army receive my application? I can't believe she asked me that. Of course I'm the center of my youth. If I can't be a physician, I, I guess I can be a lawyer, but that would be this. totally embarrassing. You big meanie! Oh no! Not again! again. Well, you hey, Jim! Let me show you around! Right you look so lame in that! You'll wanna find out what I can do! I'm gonna take it down. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Enough talk! Now I smacked you! I'm no threat to you! Your money! All of it! Don't bother with me! <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Kneel before Russell! Next time you give more doofus! Come on! Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Careful around the prefects, they don't have much of a sense of humor. Made a serious mistake. I this Not now. I know I'm a good idiot. Idiot. I for years. What? You don't think I'll hate you because so I'm a jerk? That's it. Like it. Why 
at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Good job. Keep paying attention. Keep up the good work. We are almost done. Hmm. Very good. Carry on. You're a regular budding scientist, Mr. Hopkins. was great! There we go. Done. I want number one on the worst stress list. Your clothing is social suicide. Ever cry so much oh, you man. might be hydrated? Such a dweeb! 